Hello, I'm a medical doctor specializing in urology. We've just begun a clinical research study for people suffering with interstitial cystitis or painful bladder syndrome. We're looking for men and women aged 18 or over who have been diagnosed with the condition. Our goal in the study is to find out if our investigational medication for the condition is safe, effective and tolerable in treating people with interstitial cystitis or painful bladder syndrome. Many different treatments are used for interstitial cystitis, but not all are effective in everyone. And it is our goal that this study might lead to an alternate treatment. Talk to your family doctor to discuss the currently available treatments and whether you might be an appropriate participant for this study. Details of the study are public. Ask your doctor about Pfizer study NCT 0739739 on the Clinical Studies website. The study will last for up to 15 weeks and you'll receive 14 weeks of study drug during that time. You're allowed to withdraw from the study at any time, for any reason at all. Your consent to take part does not mean that you must take part in study activities. You won't need to go to hospital. You'll only need to visit the clinic as an outpatient, so there are no overnight stays. The study sponsor, Pfizer, will pay for all study medication and study-related procedures. Also, participants will be reimbursed for all their reasonable travel expenses. The study doctor will be able to give you some more details. On the whole, you should be able to continue your daily life as before. Your daily routine could be affected by side effects from the study medication and you'll be asked to phone in your pain scores every day. If you'd like to learn more about clinical studies and what you might expect from this one, have a discussion with your family doctor. Details of the study are public. Ask your doctor about Pfizer study NCT 0739739 on the Clinical Studies website. Your regular family doctor and hospital physician will still be in overall charge of your standard care. Any care related to the study will be the responsibility of your study doctor and their staff. The study-related assessments you undergo throughout the study period will help your study doctor track the study drug's effectiveness. But to avoid introducing what we call bias into the study, no one, neither you nor your doctor, will know which study drug you have been taking until the study is over. At some stage in the future, the results of the study will be made public, and you will be able to find out whether or not the investigational medication was effective. Of course, if the study drug works for you, you may notice the results straight away yourself. There is, however, no guarantee that you will benefit from your participation in the study. A week or 10 days after your study treatment ends, there will be a follow-up clinic visit, as well as a phone call midway between these last two visits. You will also be asked to report any side effects up to 28 days after stopping the study medication. If you'd like to learn more, talk to your family doctor and ask them about the Pfizer study for interstitial cystitis or painful bladder, which is study number NCT 0739739 on the Clinical Studies website. If you have questions, your family doctor may be able to help you answer them or direct you to the study centre nearest you.